What up YouTube, Asian Persuasion here, Team DKF, here with another opening video. We got the Yugi's Legendary Decks, it comes in this pretty awesome gold sarcophagus looking box thing. Uh, I'd say the packaging doesn't look horrible. And we got the cool little etched Yami Yugi and Little Yugi. And we got the contents back here. So you get y Yugi's Exodia deck, his Battle City deck, and a Gadget deck, and then you get these awesome tokens. Alright, I will just get into it. We're just not going to mess around anymore. I just got this because I thought it was pretty cool that we finally got these tokens I've been waiting for forever. You could only get them in Bandai and they were always illegal for events, so whatever. But now we have them though. So yep, there's that awesome box. I guess I'll keep it out here. Alright. So first things first, we get promos. Then we got Yugi's Exodia deck. His Battle City deck. And his Gadget deck. Deck. It does come in some nice, nice box. Okay, there's nothing else in there. Whoa, that's weird. I don't know what that is. Okay, promos. As you guys can kind of see, the first card was Electromagnetic Turtle. I've been waiting for that card for too long. It's kind of too late now, but this would have been cool in Shadals. So there you guys go, Electromagnetic Turtle. Kind of like a Battle Fader type thing when it's in grave. Then we got... Dark Renewal. I don't know what that does. Normal special summon monster, target one spellcaster, send both to greater than special one dark. Oh, this gets Dark Magician. That's kind of cool. Uh, then we got Black Illusion. Don't know what that does either. <laughs> but it looks pretty cool. Unaffected by card effects. So those are three new cards in the set. And then we got the cards I was talking about earlier, the Bandai tokens. So yep, set sail for the kingdom. It looks kind of weird though, but... I guess that's what it's supposed to look like. Then we got Duelist Kingdom. Glory for the King's Hand. So, yep, those three tokens. Pretty cool. Uh, Slifer. Obelisk. And these are the ones with the colored ones, like the Game Boy Advance ones. And then we got the awesome little Yami Yugi token. It's kind of cool. We don't have to play Yugi all day to get that token. So, yep, put that to the side. Let's get into the decks. So we'll start with the Exodia deck, because why not? This is the original Yugi deck right here. You got Exodia. I think they're all ultra rare pieces. Yep. The left leg. The right arm. Uh, left arm. Common BLS. Oh, common Envoy at the beginning BLS. I've never seen that before. kind of looks fake, but you get a BLS when you buy this, so that's not too bad. Original Art Dark Magician. That Gaia. Some school, so yeah, these are just like themed cards. So, if that's not what you're looking for, you shouldn't be buying this. Uh, Griffor, just I just bought it because they seem kind of cool. I'm into the, I'm into the nostalgia of the old school beginnings. Mammoth Graveyard, if you didn't know what this card was, it broke in the show. <laughs> Monster Reborn, Karibo, Swords, Mystic Box, Brain Control, Monster Recovery, Spell Shattering, Horn of Unicorn, this, Burning Land. Multiply, Detonate, Makiyu, Poly, Black Luster Sword, or Ritual, whatever, uh, Mirror Force, Magical Hats, Eye of Truth, Shift, and a Common Guy, the Dragon Champ. So that's deck one. Uh, this is deck two, which is the Battle City one, I believe. Alright, let's get it. Oh yeah, this thing is like 30 bucks, by the way, so it's kind of pricey, but... You kind of get some cool stuff, but I don't think it's worth the 30 bucks, maybe like 15 or 20, but whatever. Uh, Valkyrion. Oh yeah, there it is. That is the card collectors have been waiting for for God knows how long. The Arcana Dark Magician, the red version. He looks pretty sweet, I must say. Took way too long to get him. Finally, thanks Konami. A little too late though. Dark Magician is not good anymore. Uh, Dark Magician Girl and Ultra Rare. Ultra Rare Swords. Oh, wow. Ultra and Rear Force. This kind of looks cool. Okay. That ain't horrible. Let's see. Then we're going to go into the Buster Blader, Archfiend of Guilford, Jack's Knight, Queen's Knight, King's Knight, Burflamet, Gazelle, Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Big Show Gardener. We got Karibo, another Monster Reborn, Dark Magic Curtain, Thousand Eyes, Magic Formula, Magical Dimension, Wave Motion, Double Spell, Ectoplasma, Soul Taker, Pot of Greed, Shortest Text in the Game. <laughs> Draw two. <laughs> Card Destruction, Exchange, Monster Recovery, 
polymerization, diffusion, multiply, magical hat, cylinder, circle, sword, chain destruction, soul rope, tragedy, and a chimera, the flying mythical beast for your polymerization. And there's that. And then the last deck. Man, there's a lot of stuff to show. But most of it is old school stuff, so there's nothing crazy new or anything. Oh, wow. I cannot find the little thing. Oh, I found it. Opening fell on YouTube. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, this is giving me some troubles now, ain't it? There we go. Just cheat with scissors. Alright, get that out of here. Alright. So we got a Ultra Rare Magician of Black Chaos. Looks kind of cool. Dark Magician of Chaos. Band card. But if you guys haven't noticed, if you read him, he's a rotted. So it says during the end phase now. So I'm thinking it'll come off the ban list and it'll probably go to three. Because that's kind of underwhelming. I hate that they reprint these broke cards. And don't have the old nostalgia of the why it was banned. Now it's crappy. Well, it's okay. I'm not saying it sucks. But it's... It's not the real Demok, you know. The real Demok caused problems. <laughs> but that's going to be kind of cool. If that comes back to 3, I will make spellbooks with a Temperance build. That'll be kind of fun. Uh, Silent Magician? An Ultra Rare Magician? Ooh, that looks kind of nice. Is that an Ultra Rare Gold Sarcophagus? Yes, it is. So, if you can't afford the Shonen Jump one, get this one. <laughs> it looks kind of cool, actually. I like that the Ultra Rare. Silent Magician, level 5, level 3, Common Dark Magician Girl, Buster Blader, Tricky, Jack's Knight, Queen's Knight, King's Knight, Green, Red, Yellow, Skilled Dark, Skilled White, Flockman, Marshmallow, Karibo, Another Reborn, Swords, Cards of Sanctity, Polly, Dark Magician Attack, Magicians Unite, uh, Dedication, Black Luster, that, or Black Illusion Ritual, whatever. Uh, Emblem of Dragon, Marshman and Glasses, Another Common Mirror Force, Circle, Shattered Axe, Stronghold, Miracle Restoring, and a Common Dark Paladin. That looks kind of, that's kind of cool actually. This has actually never been common before. So yep, there's the Yugi's Legendary decks right there for you guys. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments of why you guys like this or why you, why you don't like it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. These three new cards right here, these tokens, pretty awesome, I think. It's worth it for some of the stuff, just like the tokens. I want it just because of these tokens. But yeah, you get some good reprints too, like Gold Sart and Mirror Force, stuff like that. So it ain't too bad. Let me know what you guys think down below, and that's about it. Team DKF signing out. Peace.